Sister Wives Truly Brown's Distress Worries Fans Dear Loves Welcome to Yusa Drama Please do subscribe my YouTube channel. Sister Wives Star Truly Brown seems to be distressed. After watching the latest episode, many people are concerned about Truly when seeing how Christine Brown Woolley is treating her. Not long ago, Sister Wives Star Christine Brown Woolley decided to open a custody and retroactive child support case over Truly Brown. When the case was started, Christine requested that Cody Brown be added to Truly's birth certificate. Now, Cody has lawyered up and brought a countersuit against Christine. Additionally, neither parent is to dissuade Truly's opinion of the other parent during the time of the active case. Seemingly, Christine doesn't think what she says on media tours will affect Truly as she lockably calls Cody a deadbeat dad. However, fans have spotted a very concerning behavior that makes them believe Truly is distressed living with Christine and David. On Reddit, Sister Wives fans started a conversation about how Christine Brown is caring for Truly Brown. At first, a user says, Oh Christine, control that tongue, you are being inappropriate not affectionate. Then, they add, Yisipal's face just looks like disappointment and helplessness. Truly was hilarious in making her feelings fully known by separating Christine and David. And Christine still kept tonguing David every chance she got. The woman really needs to learn the line between affection and public, or at least her children. Christine, clearly, cares only about Christine. End of story. Furthermore, the Redditor wasn't interested in hearing excuses for Christine. They add P.S. Please don't bother commenting about how poor victim Christine's been in a cult and starved of attention blah blah blah. She's an adult and she's enjoyed enough agency in her life to have some common sense, high time she used it. After the initial poster added their complaint about Christine Brown Woolley's parenting, other fans weighed in. Another fan adds, hard agree, I love the fact that she's getting all the affection now, but goodness, so not necessary to put the viewers through that. I fast food right through Christine and David's scenes, the two-year-old storyline is bad enough, but the cringy looks and tongue wrestling is going way overboard. Someone else remembers, truly nearly died and they didn't have health insurance for her because the polygamy boogeyman was chasing Christine and she didn't leave then either. She not only emotionally neglected her kids, she medically neglected them while she was busy battling Robin, her favorite wife for a decade plus. Yeah, it's weird AF. It's like Christine your kids aren't trying to get in the way of your relationship, they are subtly trying to stop you from making an A of yourself on camera. She's clearly doing it for the camera's Aka Cody, which means that Jacka still lives rent free in her head. It's just a train wreck at this point, a bunch of bitter exes constantly trying to one up each other. I'm not sure I can make it until the end lol. When Cody and Christine Brown originally had their six kids, they were only married in the eyes of God, not legally. At that time, it was beneficial for Christine to not list Cody on the birth certificates to allow her to be eligible for financial assistance with her kids. Another Redditor thinks, I hate when people are like let her live she was abused by big man Cody and Robin blah blah, she hasn't put her kids first once in this whole sh show. If she was an actual good mom, she would have gone off TV and got therapy and focused on Truly until she was 18. But Christine chooses Christine and is pimping her last minor child out for a payday. Some fans made the connection that Truly Brown is like Alabama Barker. They see similarities between Christine Brown and David Woolley's PDA and Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker's affection. Both girls get front row seats to their parents' love lives. It's giving me Kourtney and Travis vibes, but Christine and David are the PG version. Ong yes truly is the anti-alamba forgive me if I spelt that wrong Barker. Without a doubt, Christine Brown and David Woolley are moving fast. Since they are shopping for a wedding venue before David even proposes, it seems strange. But fans think truly Brown is stuck in the middle of the whirlwind. Not just insensitive but hugely inappropriate. She uprooted truly with a move for the second time, then meets a guy and is looking at wedding venues after six weeks and moved him into a home with her young child very quickly. Christine is out of control since she decided to leave Cody. Yeah, it was gross. Yisabel and David's son, who are adults, were uncomfortable. I felt for truly. Christine was self-absorbed. I don't buy the hole when you're over 50 you know and need to move fast. I'm over 50 and move slower with relationships now. The open and Christine biting her bottom was a little fake to me. 
I can still hear her voice from earlier when she'd screech, I'm getting M-A-R-R-I-E-E-E-E-D, yes, we get it, but geez, chill Christine. Some fans want to see Christine Brown and David Woolley have success but aren't big on the PDA and understand truly Brown's pushes. I was and still am rooting for Christine but her and David's scene make me uncomfortable slash cringe. Truly acting out back she was uncomfortable, the whole scene was unbearable. Part of me was like Christine correct your child and the other part of me was like poor truly has to witness this. Christine telling the older kids to suck it up basically is one thing but when it comes to Truly, she should respect her a little bit more. I don't love PDA, and I didn't see anything wrong with this. Also Truly was being a normal teenager acting annoying. I was actually laughing about it, because she was doing the same shit I did when I didn't want to be somewhere, but got dragged along by my parents. Like just enough to show my annoyance, but not enough to get in actual trouble. What do you think is Christine Brown causing Truly Brown to be in a state of distress? Did you pick up on this during the latest episode of Sister Wives Sister Wives stars Christine and David have sparked rumors of getting their own spin-off? They are featuring their romance in season 19. The TLC couple has also received a great response from viewers for their wholesome love story. Viewers already know that Cody's popular series is on its last leg, and the network is finding more cast members to keep the show going. The network brought Cody's large polygamous family to feature his four marriages. However, he slowly lost his status as a polygamist after his back-to-back -back breakups. The TLC star is in a monogamous marriage with Robin Brown, and fans are not interested in their storyline. Now, they believe that the network is planning to replace them with Christine and David. Will Cody let it happen? Did TLC offer Christine and David their own spin-off Sister Wives? Star David Woolley has just become a regular cast member of the series. He grabbed attention for dating Christine Brown after her split with Cody. The TLC couple also exchanged vows after dating for a few months. David introduced himself on social media and his entire family. However, he covered the faces of several family members with emojis who didn't want to enter the limelight. The reality TV celeb explained that many of his kids and grandkids don't want to reveal their identities on the platform. Hence, Christine hardly posts anything about David's family and mostly shares updates about her family. Now fans feel that David and Christine will feature their lives with all their kids and grandkids in a separate spin-off. Will they agree Sister Wives stars Christine and David have entertained viewers with their sweet romance in the latest season? They are sharing their new life as a couple on the TV screens. However, some viewers noticed that reality TV stars are getting more screen time than others. Hence, they wonder whether TLC plans to give the couple their show. Recently, a Redditor started a thread to discuss the same. The OP wrote, Have you noticed that Christine has been playing it up more for the camera and that her story seems to take up a much larger portion of each episode? The user felt the network would likely bring the pair and their two families on a separate show. The OP noted that the network always wanted to feature a large family on the show. Christine and David's combined families may provide more content to viewers. Moreover, the user also noted that the network may not invite Cody, Robin, Mary, or even Janelle on the new show to make it all about Christine. Several fans felt the same, and they were fine with anything to watch except Cody and Robin. Meanwhile, others called it a bad idea as there won't be a villain on the show. One user noted, a show about Christine and David and family would be a snooze fest. Another fan felt that both Christine and David's families are least interested in staying in the limelight. Further, a different fan added, no one wants a show about Christine and David. Over the years, Sister Wives fans watched as Mary Brown endured horrific treatment from Cody. Ever since the catfishing scandal, she struggled to get back in his good graces. Fans wished she would just leave, but she seemed determined to stick it out. Now that Mary has finally parted ways with Cody, fans are watching their split play out on screen. During Sunday night's episode, Mary's relatives stopped by to help move furniture. Then, it became abundantly clear why the TLC star hadn't left the marriage sooner. After seeing Sunday's episode, Many fans think Mary didn't leave sooner because her relatives wouldn't support her choice. Mary's relatives suck, one Sister Wives viewer shared on Reddit recently. It's no wonder that Mary waited so long to leave Cody after watching this interaction with her sister Rebecca and her brother-in-law Nathan Aka Cody's buff. 
they both seemed like they were staring at Mary and blaming her. Rebecca made a half-hearted comment when Cody was there about how he left Mary, but really it felt like they were there judging Mary and weren't in her corner at all, the OP continued. Her mom was reputedly like this also and a staunch Cody supporter until the end. Christine had a supportive anti-polygamist mom and aunt spouting about how she deserves more. Mary didn't. What can you say about Nathan if he voluntarily is Cody's best friend? In polygamy the woman is always in the wrong. Christine shunned her own mother for years after she left. I think they were trying to walk a fine line between supporting Mary and not making Cody upset he's fragile and demands loyalty. Thank you. I record it and watch the next day. I've started it over three times now because I can't believe how these people are talking to her. On social media, Mary Brown has acknowledged that fans wanted her to leave Cody long before she felt ready. But as of 2024, she seems much happier and healthier. The TLC star moved back to Utah and has a great group of friends who make her laugh and keep her motivated. These days, Mary even posts more funny and relatable content on social media. That wasn't quite so common when she was married to Cody. What do you think about Mary Brown's decision to leave after decades of mistreatment? Share your own thoughts in the comments.